Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to address this year's annual convention. I would like to acknowledge that I am speaking to you from the ancestral lands of the Nakachtongs. While I'm sure we all would have liked this event to be in person, I hope you and your families are staying safe. The Biden-Harris administration is committed to respecting tribal sovereignty and strengthening the relationship between the federal government and tribal nations. This pledge is underscored in the Memorandum on Tribal Consultation and Strengthening Nation-to-Nation -nation Relationships that the President signed shortly after taking office. As United States Trade Representative, my goal is to make trade policy more inclusive and equitable. Too often, the benefits of trade have not reached every community. Economic prosperity and sustainable growth must reach historically overlooked and underserved communities, particularly American Indian and Alaska Native tribal nations. At USTR, we are following through on the principles of the President's memorandum through our engagement with tribal nations. In particular, I would like to thank NCAI for the thoughtful help and guidance you provided to my team as we planned USTR's first and historic tribal consultation earlier this year. We are also proud to be a part of the White House Council on Native American Affairs, and we are committed to helping our administration strengthen the nation-to-nation -nation relationship. Together, we will address important matters like the climate crisis, broad-based economic growth, and global indigenous issues. And we look forward to celebrating the international decade of indigenous languages beginning next year. Today, I'd like to share three policy areas where USTR and tribal nations can work together. Market access for tribal owned businesses, protecting tribal agricultural interests, and pursuing environmentally conscious policies. One of the most important jobs I have is helping our businesses reach new markets and customers. Tribal small and medium-sized businesses face many of the same issues as other domestic exporting companies. And our goal is to remove discriminatory barriers and obstacles that prevent your businesses from reaching their full potential. We must balance this work with our efforts to protect workers, including indigenous persons. And that is why strong labor standards will always be a hallmark of our trade policy. For example, we are currently in discussions at the World Trade Organization to eliminate harmful and unfair subsidies in the fishery sector. We believe any meaningful outcome on this issue must also include the elimination of forced labor in the industry. Another area where input from tribal nations can be especially effective is agriculture and farm policy. The most recent census of agriculture in 2017 identified over 60,000 American Indian and Alaska native operated farms. Between 2012 and 2017, the number of all farms in the United States decreased by 3%, while American Indian and Alaska native farms increased by 7%. We want to work with and learn from tribal owned farms as they continue to integrate sustainable practices onto their land. The world's markets and international customers are increasingly asking for sustainable agricultural products. Those who can meet this demand will benefit and we are here to help you reach those new customers. But we can do more to encourage environmentally friendly trade practices and I am committed to working with our trading partners to develop policies that mitigate the harmful effects of climate change. Our administration shares your commitment to being good stewards of the environment and recognize the importance of working together to protect our planet. I believe we can accomplish all of this, tackling issues of shared importance, including the perspective of tribal nations in our trade priorities and respecting your sovereignty. These are ambitious goals but I am optimistic that we can be successful. Again, I appreciate the opportunity to address this year's convention. I hope you enjoy the remaining events and discussions and continue to stay safe. Thank you.